welcome back to a new video of this series of how it is to be a student in Germany. And if this is your first video, welcome. I'm Mariana. I'm from Brazil and I'm a full-time MBA student at HHL. So the topic for today is a very hot topic in Germany. It's renting, <laughs> in this case more specifically, renting as a student. What are your options? In this series, we have talked about everything from deciding to come to Germany, the whole application process, and the tests you need to do, your motivation letter, after applying for your visa, coming to Germany, we talked about the program, but for everything to work, you need to have a place to stay. So I'm gonna talk to you about the main options you have as a student. And again, because I'm talking about my experience, this is gonna be more specifically about Leipzig. Another point that can be a plus or a con on your, your housing search will be the place you wanna live and the budget you have for that. So depending on your searching criteria, you're gonna have more or less options in the end. So yeah, let's start talking about those options. First point I'd like to talk about is the Studentenwerk. Studentenwerk is just your student association. And they are also the association responsible for housing options. Like I would say the more official housing options that are connected to the universities in Leipzig. Um, most of the, the buildings are inside university campus so for example i already said in a previous video hhl is on the campus for the university of leipzig for the faculty of um, sports education so we are sharing this campus here and here you have two buildings for students to check the options that they have let's just take a look at their website look for studentenwerk leipzig that's the student association Go to the website, change it to English if you need, go to housing and student halls of residence. Here you'll find the list with all the available student housing options. And you can see that the name that they show there is basically the address of the, the hall. A lot of people from my class live at Mbai Fischer Bahnhof. They share the same bus and tram stops with my place. So I know we take around 20 to 25 minutes to get to HHL. Am Gutenberg Platz, for example, is a more modern one, is a little more expensive because the, the building is brand new. But you also have many other options that are a little older and therefore more affordable as well. Following on the list, you see this Mainzer Straße. These two buildings, the 2 and the 2A, they are on campus at HHL. So you're just a few steps away from class every day. This first one you see there, Philipp Rosenthalstrasse, that's my student dorm. One thing I did and I would leave you as a tip is just get those addresses, check on Google Maps if they are central, if they're close enough from HHL and for our shopping possibilities and from the city center to choose your best option. So now that you saw the list with the options that the student association has for apartments, you can easily click in each one of them and there you're gonna see the size of their apartment, the options that they have regarding uh, sharing or living alone, for example, and the prices for everything. And then after you decide which of the student dorms you wanna leave, you're gonna be asked to decide on three options, your three favorite places in the order of the one that you want the most to the one that you want the last. And also they're gonna ask you for a budget. What is your max budget? After you give those information, so the three options and your max budget, they will do kind of a match between you and all the students that are also applying for places here in Leipzig. And in the end, they're just gonna let you know from those three options, which one was allocated to you and how much exactly you're gonna pay. In my experience, for example, I gave my three options. I put a max budget of 280 euros and I was put in my third option and I ended up paying 220 euros. If you have a little more budget, maybe you can um, think of another option. Those are the private student dorms. They are not directly connected to the university, but they are only for students. 
And the difference in them is, I would say, the infrastructure. I had some friends living in one of the student dorms here in Leipzig, and they basically had a cinema room. They had an amazing gym, really well equipped. They had a common kitchen, they have a working study area, they have a club. I already went to a few parties there. So I would say that the pro is definitely infrastructure and the cons would be the price, but that depends. If you have money, that would not be a con, but also it can be a little loud. As I said, that you have a party place and, you know, student life, it can go a little loud sometimes. So it's everything about you weighing these pros and cons and deciding what you think is best for you, for your moment. So, okay, these two first options, they are very connected to universities, to students only, but you also have two other options that are more independent, I would say. And that also will depend on you exactly what you're looking for. If you want to live alone, you can look for an apartment outside of a student association or outside of a student dorm. You can live alone, of course, and you can rent an apartment. Here, I can give you some tips. First of them would be, when you're accepted to HHL, I would make contact, ask someone from HHL that you talk to, ask them for the number and the name of someone from a previous class, the last one that was on campus before the time that you arrive. A lot of times the students are leaving the city, so they are leaving apartments empty. And I already know from friends that were recommended by these previous students, these alumni, and maybe it's going to be easier for you to get a new apartment. You know, every time you have a connection and a recommendation, everything happens much, much easier. There are a lot of websites that you can look. I'm going to leave here a few options, so take a screenshot. or. Even if you don't use Facebook for yourself, for your personal use, get an account because there's also an option to go to groups. Sometimes, for example, I have a Brazilian in Leipzig or a Brazilian in any city that I want to move to. And there people are also trying to find um, people to live after them in their apartment that they are living. Because sometimes the only way for you to leave a contract, a renting contract, is to find the next tenant. Now, coming from the people that I am, I want something more independent, not correlated to the university, or I don't want to live necessarily in a student dorm, you can just look for independent WGs. What is a WG? A little German course, crash course here now. WG is a, um, a short version for Wohngemeinschaft. That's just uh, leaving a share flat, for example, one where two or more people live there, share all the expenses, and yeah, that's one of the options that you have. And for that, I would also say the Facebook groups help a lot. You can also check back with students to see if anyone is leaving a room that is really good and with a good price that matches what you're looking for. Or you also have one website that is specifically for this, for looking for a place on a share flat and the link also I'm going to leave here for you is Gesucht, and there you're going to definitely find a lot of options and of course you need to think about the timings between semesters and between the beginning and the ending and beginning of a new school year that's exactly when people are leaving so probably a couple of months before they will already be promoting these rooms and these apartments in this website so just make sure you look at um, a little bit before so you have more options to choose from. This is the video for today, very on the point. And in everything that I said, what I would tell you is try to contact previous students. They will give you information about the best um, student dorms, official or unofficial, where they lived before and you're gonna have a smooth transition and a great beginning of your next step on your life here in Leipzig and here at HHL as well. So if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to leave them here for us. And I wish you all the luck and talk to you next time. Bye-bye.